Hi, in this package tracer, we will configure a wireless network. Firstly, we will connect from a PC to the wireless router, and then we will configure the wireless router. Then we will, we will connect a wire device to the wireless router, and then connect a wireless device, the access point, to the wireless router. And then uh, we will update the default router setting. Firstly, we will connect to a wireless router uh, using the admin PC. You should use a copper straight through cable and connect to one of the four ports here. And you should click fast forward time for the connection to be uh, up. And then because the wireless router uh, is also a DHCP server, so the admin PC will get the DHCP uh, IP message. You see here. And we can connect to the wireless router using web interface and use uh, this IP address, the default gateway. And I open the web browser and enter the IP address of the default gateway and enter the default account admin and password is admin2. So this is the configuration uh, interface uh, on the wireless router. You can see uh, the internet connection ties are automatic. So get uh, IP address uh, from the ISP automatically. And the network setup, you can change it. The DHCP server here uh, already enabled. And uh, the DNS, no DNS uh, are configured. And on the guy, we will uh, use a uh, uh, internet port of the wireless router. The uh, we'll copy it, copy it, and and uh, paste it into the internet. So we we'll change to the static IP, and then uh, cannot paste. So we have to enter. Enter this IP to the internet IP address 209.165.165 and 200.225.225 with the subnet mask. And the default gateway. And the DNS server here. And one. And then we will save the setting. It's a important step. Here, you can see, uh, we can get the stake IP. And it's request timeout when we connect again. Uh, we should click fast forward time and then re enter the IP address. Okay. On part two, we will configure wireless setting. Firstly, we will configure wireless SSID and uh, to set for the SSIDs for the two point four gigahertz, and set the standard channel and disable five gigahertz frequency. So on the configuration interface we will go to wireless and disable 5 gigahertz first 
and then enter the A company LSID and set the SIG standard channel and then we save settings anything else you can you heard okay a company okay and uh, on step two is very important step we will should uh, we will configure wireless security setting using the wpa2 personal with the aes setting for the encryption and the path phrase is uh, cisco one two three and the path phrase and save setting okay and on the wireless security, we will enable the WPA personal with the encryption Cisco one two three and then we click save setting and we will connect the wireless client or the laptop one to the wireless router and on laptop one we will configure oh, cannot configure wireless and connect we will refresh we get the lsid and a company here and we will connect and then cisco and click connect and you see uh, the laptop one is already connected to the wireless router and then we uh, connect the wireless clients uh, the laptop 3 PC wireless and select and connect connect the wireless client wireless access point uh, okay so uh, we should configure the asset point to connect the AP to the wireless router and uh, we should use a copper sexual cable port 0 to the port 1 and then uh, open the AP on the port uh, sorry so how to get a port zero two zero two no I will delete it and uh, to get the ID of the port port zero okay and on the access point click on the port 0 or oh, no port 1 the SSID will enter the A company then uh, enter the part phrase of the WPA PSK Cisco 1, 2, 3 and then. okay and the access for port zero the plate oil company okay the next we will uh, connect the laptop three to the asset point to do that i open the laptop three desktop pc wireless connect and refresh the A company, uh, we have two A company uh, SSIDs, but the A company of the wireless router it has a channel, it has six uh, channel, or the uh, uh, the channel number six, and the A access point has uh, channel one, channel one here, so we should connect to asset point using the channel one connect and enter the uh, passphrase 
So you see laptop 3 is connected to the uh, asset port. And on the part uh, 4, we will uh, configure uh, other administrative tasks. Firstly, we will change the wireless access password. And uh, On the administration, the router password we will change it from admin to Cisco. And then save setting. And then we enter Cisco with the password of Cisco. Cisco. No. There is something wrong with the password Cisco. Oh, sorry, admin Cisco. Admin Cisco. Admin Cisco. No. So we will change it again. Cisco, Cisco, and click on Save Setting. Admin, Cisco. Okay. Click Continue. And uh, we should change the DHCP address in the range. Uh, a range in wireless router and uh, you can change it uh, in the setup you can change it here and uh, check on the admin PC so that is all for this activity guide thanks for watching